how do you get the invisible? Like we all know that we all have feelings. How do you get them to be like a great photograph to me is something that shows you something that is invisible in the photograph and you only imply it somehow. And one thing that's great about selfies is some people are very self-conscious getting their picture taken. When they take their own picture, they relax and they're really open to the camera. And I think that's a really amazing thing that when I take a picture of somebody who's really self-conscious or I don't get the way they look and the pictures are terrible. And then she would take a picture of herself and I'm going, is this the same person? Because she would relax. She, I didn't. She wasn't tensing up. You know, I think that's amazing stuff. Well, I think when other people take pictures of you, you're worried about them showing their image of you. Mm. And of course, we all want to be seen as who we are. So I think that's part of that nervousness. And so then, when you put the camera in the hand of the individual, then they get to say who they are. So. And that's what the selfies are doing: is they're telling us, they're showing us who we are. And as far as the Andy Warhol, he wanted to show you what he thought and what he was seeing, which is why I don't think he would care at all what you want to be seen as, because that was his art, was yeah. to show you what he sees. And so that's how everything has evolved now, so that now the individual is taking the photographs and they're being seen the way they want to show themselves and how successful that they, they are at that, mm. you know, is another discussion. But about the wedding photographer, this, this brings up another question. Even for myself as a sculptor, creating an installation where you and I get a chance to co-create and you get to position yourself and take a picture of yourself in something I've already set out. So now, usually I have a photographer that photographs my work. And so do I need that photographer this time? Because how can she see the work? when it is so interactive and there are so many angles inside and outside that any one of you, any individual coming by can come into and create a photo? And that's a great question that I now have to ask. Well, you'll, you can also look and see if they see it the way you did too, which is great, you yeah. know. Um, the last thing also to point out is that um, in today's world, the average person reads one sentence plus three words in anything written, other than books, like the one book here I read. Okay, so, so what we've done is for marketing, when you're putting together a website, let's say for a creative agency, or we do a website for um, some sort of consulting firm or whatever, we now say to them, the bios that we used to write, we don't do that anymore. You now have to give your bio in a three-dimensional picture, meaning we have to take a picture of you that tells the story of what you want your bio to read. And it works very, very well on websites because people are not gonna read your bio. They're gonna look at the picture, and if they see a mirror of themselves or a window into that which they aspire to be, then they're gonna like your firm. <laughs> so if you think about it from that perspective, the selfie is also bio your biography. And so how you choose to position it becomes much less about narcissism and much more about how you want the world to see sure. you. It's like everybody becomes a brand. Exactly. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? With that aspect, I never want to take a selfie. <laughs> <laughs>